Pokemon TCG is one of the best free to play games ever. Give me a few minutes and I'll tell you why. Everyone loves free stuff. It's free real estate. And Pokemon TCG is a brilliant free to play game. When you think of free to play games, you normally either think of games that are basically legalized scams like Farmville, where you download it and four and a half seconds later, it wants you to buy some sort of premium currency like gems or some crap, which costs real money because without them, you can't do anything. Or you think of games like Fortnite, where you can play the game for free, but unless you want to look like some sort of gypsy, you better spend real money in the cash shop to buy some sort of stupid ass t-shirt. Pokemon TCG is neither of these two. It's the type of free to play game that is rarer than finding a reasonably priced retro classic on eBay. It's free to download, free to play, and has no money shop in the app whatsoever. But you might be thinking that you don't want to play a trading card game. You've seen the virginity guarantee that is Magic the Gathering, and in no way do you want to start getting involved with that. I wouldn't blame you, that's a slippery slope. One minute, you're looking at magic cards because the art looks kind of cool, then before you know it, you're spending Saturday nights around some guy called Derek's house reading Warhammer fan fiction. No one wants that. You want to be here with the hookers, Bulbasaurs and cocaine. Pokemon TCG takes about five minutes to learn to play, then after that, you'll find a super enjoyable video game. So let's have a look at that bit. Even though this game is easier than your mum, here's the super basic explanation. You get a deck of cards and you can draw seven to put in your hand on your first turn and then you draw one each turn after that. You take Pokemon from your hand to battle with and in each turn you can do the following. Put one energy on a Pokemon. Use an item card. Use your Pokemon in play to attack the opponent. Each Pokemon card shows exactly what attacks they can do and how many energy cards they need to do that attack. So here's an example of a typical turn. My EV is my Pokemon I've chosen to do battle with and it has two attacks. Tackle does 10 damage but only needs one energy. Lunge does 30 damage but requires two energy. You can only place one energy per turn so I'm going to place this one on my EV. Then I'm going to use this item card that makes the opponent switch what Pokemon they're using. Now I'm going to do my tackle attack to cause 10 damage. With this attack over it's now the opponent's turn. And that's all there really is to it. There's a lot more in depth stuff like certain moves requiring certain types of energy, evolving Pokemon and special abilities, but you can get quite a few early wins under your belt on just those basics alone. And by the time you've won a few games just by using the basics, the other stuff makes sense without it even having to be told. So let's move on. Unlike sexually transmitted diseases, Pokemon is more fun when you try to catch them all. Although the game gives you three different starter decks to play with, unless you want to look like some sort of nab rookie when you play online, you're going to want one of the more deluxe decks. When you win online games, you get coins. With each win, the amount of coins goes up. Take those coins to the poker shop and spend 500 of them on a new deck, or 200 of them on a booster pack. I can give you some advice here. When buying a new deck whichever one you get is fine they all have different ways of playing them and you'll learn the best way to use the pokemon in that deck just avoid the evolution decks all those cards are shit strong stuff but he's right there is another way to get decks and booster packs without coins if you own or have access to a child that collects pokemon cards then with each booster pack and deck that they own they got a qr code simply borrow and or steal this card and use the game's scan function to add the deck slash booster pack into your digital collection <laughs> Look at this guy. Look how smug he looks. It's going to feel great to kick his ass online. So that's just what you should do. But if you're some sort of pussy or just still learning to play, you can fight the computer. There are various leagues and different skill people in each league. These games actually start out really easy. So you'll demolish many computer opponents in a short space of time. By the time you've done that, you should know the best way to use the decks you have. Once you do, you want to take the fight online. And be 
because Pokemon is even more popular than your sister in a bikini, there is always people to play in versus mode. To do this, it's as simple as selecting the versus mode from the options menu, picking what deck you want to use, then pressing play. You'll be automatically thrust into an online game against one of the many other adults playing this children's game. Once you win, you'll get your prize. And like I said, the more times you win, the better the prizes get. Sometimes you'll win cards. Sometimes you'll win coins. Sometimes you'll win tickets. The tickets can be used to enter tournaments. A tournament normally involves around 4 to 16 people in a playoff situation. The better you do in the tournament, the better the prize will be. But wait, there's more! There's still another way to gain coins, tickets and cards, and that's just by logging in each day to receive the daily bonus prize. Each day you log in, the game will give you something, and each day it's something better than the previous day. This works on a five day reset, and it's back to working up from the minimum prize again. Well anyway, that's Pokemon, the card game, on PC, iOS and Android. Well, I think it's a really good game, but what do you think? I'm inclined to agree with you, dodgy kebab. <laughs> Thank you